In this video, we will demonstrate how to manually download and run the Live Optics Collector on both Windows and Linux platforms. After logging into the Live Optics portal, go to Collectors on the left navigation bar. Select Download Collector. From here, you can choose to download a Windows based or a Linux based collector. Information on the system requirements, the current version, and its release date is available here. On the lower part of the page, you'll find the assessments supported by the Windows Collector, which include server and cloud, storage, data protection, file, and workloads. Let's scroll back up and download the Windows Collector. You'll notice that Live Optics is building a custom collector. This collector is configured for the person who's logged in to the Live Optics portal. This allows the user to upload collected data to the Live Optics web service without the need to manually provide user credentials. Once you've downloaded the collector, locate it on your downloads folder. You will need to extract the files from the zipped file. The Live Optics collector does not need to be installed. All data collected and any files the collector needs to create are all stored within the Live Optics folder. This allows users to simply delete the Live Optics folder to remove it from the system. There are no Windows registry entries created and no other files written elsewhere. In the Live Optics folder, you'll find the Security Tech Brief. This document provides information on security implementation while collecting and processing performance metrics. For first time users, we highly recommend reviewing this document. To run the Live Optics Collector, simply double click on the Live Optics executable file. Upon launching, you'll see the same assessment types supported by the Live Optics Collector on Windows. Let's look at the Linux version of the Collector next. We follow the same procedure on downloading the Linux Collector from the Live Optics portal. Here, you'll also see the system requirements, the Collector version, and its release date. Below, you'll see assessments supported by the Linux Collector. Let's download the Linux Collector. Similar to the Windows Collector, Live Optics will create a custom collector for the user. Open a terminal and locate the compressed file on your download directory. You will need to create a new directory where the extracted files will be placed. Extract the files using the tar command. Here, you'll find the Live Optics executable. The Linux version of the collector does not include a graphical interface. Simply run the Live Optics collector from the terminal. You'll be asked to accept the end user license agreement. Next, the collector will confirm the user as it will use this account to upload data collected. You have an option to upload the collected data via a secure connection to the Live Optics web service. If you choose not to, the collector will save all collected data into an SIO kit file. We recommend uploading the collected data directly to the Live Optics web service. By default, the collector will include the local machine as part of the scan. This is the menu of the operations you can run. If you wish to include additional systems in the scan, choose item 5. Once you have added all the systems you need to scan, select one to begin data collection. Once the data collection is complete, you will be notified that the data has been successfully uploaded to the user's Live Optics account. We hope you found this useful, and thank you for using Live Optics.